So in this video, we're going to look at how to select by location uh, to find all the particular, for example, here since this tracks within a certain mile radius of a certain point. So this is uh, the Central Texas region uh, where Austin, Texas is here. Uh, we have Round Rock, Georgetown, uh, San Marcos, for example, with I-35 corridor here. And this is the census tracts. This is broken up. Um, and each polygon is roughly about 4,000 people or so. And so let's say, for example, we wanted to find all the census tracts within a three-mile radius of a particular point. Okay, so the first step that we're going to want to do is actually put the point that we want. So that there's a few different ways to do that. If you know where your point is going to be, you can just actually go to the drawing toolbar, choose dot, click it, add the dot there, and then convert that dot from a graphic to a feature. It needs to be selected. Then you click convert graphic to feature, and you can export that as a uh, point that you can use for analysis. Um, Just put it on my desktop. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, another way of doing it is if you know the longitude latitude of the point that you're interested in, you can always um, take that longitude latitude and plug it into the uh, XY points, and you can always change it to decimal degrees. And so I can go and actually plug in longitude and latitude and get the same get that same point. Um, so you can see here I just use that and then again convert it to a feature. Um, and then the, of course the other way of doing it to get, uh, get a particular point you might want to search by um, address. Give it a second to respond. And so if you go here, you can look under uh, locations, use your uh, geocode world services, and uh, type an address in here, and it will uh, find it. And then you could always um, add the point, add a point again, and then you would just click it and convert it to feature. Let's say this is the point that we're interested in and we want to get every single census block, uh, census track within three miles of this point. So I could have this as a converted feature here. I have my census track here and what we're going to do is we're going to say select by location. So on the selection menu select by location. From there we can say we want to select features from the census tracks and the source layer is going to be I call the converted graphic, but that can be your point. And then you want to apply a search distance. Whenever you apply the search distance, that's going to make that three mile kind of buffer. So I can go here and put three miles. So when I hit apply, what that does is it looks within three miles and everything that intersects the source feature is being selected. Um, there's other options here of selection methods. Um, you can play around with the different versions of selection methods here, but for what we what we're looking for, we're going to say intersect. Once you have that selected, then what you want to do is subset it. So you want to make a, its own shape file. So you would click on the census tracks, so you right click, you say data, export data. And that's going to give you this dialog where you can say everything here that's selected, I want it to be exported into its own file. Um, so here are selected features, I want them to be exported, and then you can choose where to export it. And then say yes. And so now you can see that you have your own shapefile now. Um, I can always say selection, clear selected features, and here now I have my own shapefile of census tracts within three miles of this point. Um, and then that might help you with your analyses. A lot of times you get your census data is going to be by counties. You might only be interested in a particular area, and this is one way of getting that, uh, getting the selection for that one area.